Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Tuesday mountain weather update. All right, we've got a storm system moving through the Intermountain West. First stop is in Colorado. This is up at Aspen Snowmass. Um, snow is coming down up there. Just getting started. It's going to snow most of the day, uh, and there are uh, additional waves of energy that will come through over the next three, four, and five days through Colorado. But looking really good there. That's the Aspen Highlands cam. Let's go up to uh, Jackson Hole. So they're reporting six inches on, at the summit in the last 24 hours. And that puts your season total at the summit at 440 at this point. Um, let's go down the road uh, to the south. This is a solitude reporting eight inches in the last uh, 24 hours. And I do have a cam from solitude. And it's looking good. Snow is still coming down there. Beautiful scene. Should be a great day of skiing. And you do have some additional accumulation today across the Wasatch. Um, now, in the in Little Cottonwood over at uh, Alta, here's the view over there. Let me show you what it looks like. Over at Alta, they're reporting 10 inches in the last 24 hours. And you also have additional accumulation yet to go today across uh, Little, uh, Little Cottonwood Canyon. Let's go up to the north. So this is uh, Big Sky. Um, seven inches of new snow in the last 24 hours, and you also have some additional accumulation yet to go. Uh, back into Colorado, we'll go to Winter Park, still a little bit of light snow coming down, reporting two, three inches of new snow accumulation um, so far. And still more to go across Colorado. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you radar. Here it is across the west. So there's your snow sliding through the Wasatch. You got snow up in Montana, snow through parts of Idaho, central and northern California, Washington, Oregon, and a batch in Colorado. Let me take you into Colorado. Um, just starting to pivot in, so we're just getting started in Colorado. It's going to snow most of the day at uh, a lot of the resorts. Into Utah, nice uh, shot of some moderate snow right there. Um, pivoting into the, uh, the Wasatch, that'll be... Uh, That'll be throwing down some additional accumulations here this morning. All right, here's water vapor across the west. So your drier air here, where are we at? I think we're in the we're in the mid levels here. So uh, oranges and reds are going to be your dry air. Your moisture's in the whites and the blues. Big storm system right here. And again, I talked about this yesterday. Little areas of low pressure kind of rotating around this like spokes on a wheel. And so you'll get one right after another. That's why I said. So over the next three, four, five days, we've got at least a few different waves of low pressure to move through a lot of the Intermountain West. That rolls me into my, my bullet point. So it, it is an active pattern for probably the next five days with a few different waves. The southern tier will also get snow. Then a pretty significant area of high pressure is going to build in. Uh, roughly 4.6 through 4.12 in the forecast. Here's my snow timeline best odds of snow. So everything's really front end loaded because once we get to that high pressure, it's very dry. Big sky, light to moderate accumulations today, tomorrow, and into the third. In the Wasatch, you've got moderate to heavy snow continuing today, and then only light, 4-2 and 4-3. In Colorado today, again, just kind of getting started right now, moderate to heavy accumulations, 4-3 is moderate, and 4-4 four, four into 4-5 four, is also moderate. So Colorado's got some great accumulations ahead here before we build this high pressure in. In the northeast, you've got rain coming in 4-3 and then a heavy mix of rain and snow coming in uh, afternoon 4-5, 4-6 into the morning of 4-7. Let's drill down into Alta, Utah. This is the forecast mediagram. Uh, this is effective about 9,000 feet up there in Little Cottonwood Canyon, but very representative of Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon. Uh, so air temps today in the teens, tomorrow, Topping out at about 21 and then up to 23 at 9,000 feet on Thursday. And this generates anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of snow accumulation. This only goes into the morning of the 4th. Uh, winds today up to 50 mile an hour gusts possible. So very windy with the snow production uh, today up there in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. All right, let's go into Colorado. Here's a time height forecast for snow mass. I showed you that camera earlier from Aspen Snowmass. That was up at Aspen Highlands. But nonetheless, in the Elk Range, uh, you've got what I'm looking for is the green. That's going to be your higher humidity levels in the atmosphere. And, and, and that helps to kind of pinpoint where um, the best time periods are going to be 
uh, for snow production. And this, you read this from right to left, it's a 72 hour forecast and there are waves of green all the way through the next 72 hours. That's when I say there are different waves of energy to come through for the next few days. There's your evidence of that. And, uh, and I do, and I've got over a foot of potential accumulation for a lot of the, uh, the elks, um, all the way through probably four, six in the forecast. Let's check out the jet stream. So we'll start this today. Um, so what you're looking at here are winds up at about 30,000 feet, jet stream level winds, looking for the brighter colors, but also the dips in the jet. Those are going to be your storm systems that are carried along with the, the storm track, the jet stream. So you've got obviously a big trough over the west right now, um, and that's what's supporting this storm system. Storm systems kind of rotating through. It actually digs even deeper on Wednesday, and this is how the southern tier will get in on the action. There's Thursday. How deep it is on Friday, all the way through Arizona, New Mexico, and the Four Corners through Saturday. And that supports the development of an additional storm system that will come up through New Mexico and potentially up the eastern plains of Colorado on Saturday. And then, there it is, departing. Uh, and then we start to see that, that atmospheric ridging settle in to a lot of the west with the arcing to the north of the jet from like 4.6 to 4.12. It's going to be a long duration. Okay, here's a snow forecast, snow accumulation over time. On this uh, forecast, the light blues are three inches or less, greens are three to six, yellows six plus, reds 10 plus. So I started early today, you can see where the snow is falling across a lot of Colorado, a lot of Utah, Montana, uh, and certainly uh, the uh, Tahoe area up to Shasta. Okay, let's move ahead in time. Here we are, lunchtime today. By the time we get into late uh, tonight, here's early on Wednesday. Storm system begins to depart, moves out into the uh, the northern plains. Another little storm system rotates in behind it. You can see the light accumulations continuing into early Thursday there, especially for the four corners. All right, here we are, lunchtime on Thursday. There's late Thursday. A little bit of snow comes up the uh, up the spine of the Rockies in Colorado. All right, there's lunchtime on Friday. Another storm system kind of dives down and runs through parts of Colorado and New Mexico. There's early Saturday. Notice the snow through southern Colorado and New Mexico. And then that moves out into the plains. All right, and then we're into, um, this is Monday, midday on Monday, April 7th. We're into some high pressure, but also a little wave. It looks like it tries to kind of break down through that area of high uh, pressure down through a lot of the Intermountain West. Let's see what we've got here. So there's early and midday on Tuesday, April 9th, and then that's gone. And then we're definitely into a drier pattern right there. All right, let's look at the numbers. So here's what I've got all the way in today, first day of April. Welcome to April. All of today through the 7th um, in, the, uh, in the Wasatch, another 5 to 10, and that's probably going to do it. And then about 10 down there in Bryan Head, 10 for Snow Bowl of Arizona. In Colorado, some pretty good numbers yet to go, anywhere from 8 to 16 inches of snow accumulation across all zones. Um, even northern New Mexico gets in on the action, 10 to 14 inches of accumulation. A little bit of snow yet to go up there in the, uh, the Sierra, obviously potentially up to 10 inches of additional accumulation. Uh, Idaho, 2 to 5. Parts of Montana, 4 to 7 inches. Uh, roughly 4 to 6 for the Tetons. Interior BC, anywhere from 4 to 8 inches of additional accumulation. And up in the Pacific Northwest, not a lot of snow yet up there. Not a lot to go. Up in the Northeast, looking again for a heavy mix and also rain at times. But still potentially 3 to 6 inches of accumulation through a lot of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine through 4-7. Let's go back here. We'll end on the big western map. So we're going to really try to squeeze in some additional snow before that high pressure comes in. And again, that happens around 4.6 through about 4.12. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.